<clears throat> good day welcome to uh, subramani.com i hope you're liking the videos i see a lot of people uh, do pressing the uh, bell icon many people are subscribers i've reached about 1500 subscribers thanks to you i think i should reach 15000 soon okay today i'm going to talk to you about a topic today i'm going to talk to you about a topic which is what should you be doing 10 years prior to retirement so if you're going to retire at 55 for you it could be 45 if you're going to retire at 60 it could be 50 and if you're going to retire at 62 it could be 52 so what are the things that you must do and uh, obviously 10 years before retirement so you fix up that and 10 could mean 12 or it could mean 8 it doesn't really matter if you have 10 year if you have got only 8 years to retire okay then for you the number is 8 if you got 12 years to retire no harm in starting now so what is the first thing you should do i think the first thing you should do if you are not already done is create facebook groups and whatsapp groups of your classmates from school and separate one from college obviously you would have already done it most people would have done it because somewhere in the 40s people feel the need to get back to their old friends and join clubs where they still called boys and girls so that's the time when anybody everybody does all that so if you have not done it do it join and create groups where people uh, from different age groups are present for example if you join a running group or a cycling group or even a movie group or a drama group you will find people who are 20 years elder to you and 20 years younger to you it's very nice to mix across uh, age groups because your school group and college group would be exactly your age they would all be born at more or less the same time so no that doesn't serve the purpose that serves a different purpose this serves a different purpose third i have seen people uh, one person i know in a small town not a very small town in a city in south india he works only monday tuesday wednesday thursday four day weeks what does he do on friday he picks up one friend or relative to have lunch with so he just call up an aunt or an uncle and say next friday i'm coming for lunch to your house he saying it's a great pleasure for them and he fixes small things in their house some password not working to you know some statement not come from a mutual fund to anything like that he has car mechanics he has electricians he has plumbers all on his phone so anywhere there is a problem he fixes it so they also keep coming back to him i think it's a great way to spend your fridays saturdays he does his own household work and sundays he does a screen upvas he does not answer whatsapp messages does not go to facebook does not do any of those things on sunday Monday is back to work. He's a partner in a chartered accountant firm, and his Fridays are off. So four day week, yeah. So that's a nice way. And he says he can continue this till he's sixty five. He's just about fifty now. So another fifteen years he wants to do it. And he says I've got enough relatives and friends to find fifty two people to have lunch with on a Friday. That's his way of uh, managing. <clears throat> that's a nice thing to do when you're fifty. see where your uh, money is where have you kept it and how much of uh, capital protection you need and how much of growth you need please also expect to live till 100 okay you may not live till 100 you may live till 90 but better to prepare for 100 and die at 90 rather than prepare for 90 and die at 100 the last 10 years can be very boring i know somebody who thought he'll die at 78 he actually died at 93 the last 15 years of his life was very very painful he just he was a believer in astrology and at 78 he gave up belief in astrology right so find groups who will go old with you so you need people who are 20 years younger and you need people who are 20 years older so when you're 50 you can easily find a 70 year old whose lifestyle you may want to copy and you'll find a 30 year old who will seek some guidance in your chosen career path and say should i do this should i do that right you becoming a career counselor you becoming a marriage counselor you are attending friends of uh, you are attending marriages of friends you are attending marriages of friends children right you doing all that so that's good fun so get your money is organized write your will uh, get your friendships organized start traveling to all first cousin wedding second cousin kids weddings and all that 
that is your next support system all of us are going to need a support system because we don't have too many siblings those who have five six siblings which means people almost of a previous generation they were different but we are all people with one or two siblings and we could lose a sibling also right so after you lose your sibling you may have five ten years of absolute solitude of course you could have your spouse but you could lose your spouse also and the children may be too busy it's not that i'm blaming them but the children may be too busy so you need to create your own groups start shopping around for senior citizen homes don't be in a hurry to buy you need to go to a senior citizen home only when you are 70 i'm assuming the husband is 70 the wife will be 65 but as far as uh, moving into a senior citizen home is concerned 70 is a good cut off age till then you will be able to manage on your own even after that you will be able to manage on your own it's not so much of a problem but small issues like uh, when there is a covid strike and you're unable to move out of the house you're completely dependent on your neighbors and if one of them falls ill and they can't go around then these are all issues which you want to tackle so 70 72 75 68 you decide upon your physical and mental condition and how comfortable you are wanting to but right now you're not moving you're only doing shopping Ask your friends where they want to stay, ask your siblings, ask your spouse's siblings. Find out where you want to stay during your age of 70 to 80, 85. After that, you don't have too much of a choice. You will be in some kind of a geriatric care and not much choice is there in geriatric in India. It's also a nice thing to be visiting senior citizen homes to see how they are. Because our media image of how a senior citizen home looks is very different from a current senior citizen home. I visit senior citizen homes because my mother stays in one. I visit also because another cousin stays in one. They are so happy. There is such a big lively group. They meet uh, at breakfast. They meet in the evening where they discuss everything from what Modi should do and what Trump is doing. and And it's great fun. So there are some... 400, 500 families living in one place, they have their own privacy, they can either eat out or they can eat at the house. I think they are having a great time. So have a positive attitude, visit those people and see that old age homes are not what you saw in Hindi movies 20 years ago. Today it is a place of great fun, they have gyms, they have swimming pools, they have table tennis, they have badminton, you name it and they have it and they are all active, they are all playing. right? So you have you see 72 year olds playing table tennis, you take 78 year olds playing table tennis, you see 87 year olds swimming. I mean what's wrong? That's, that's a place where they go and live. Now if you live in a place where you don't have too many friends anyway, you might as well go to some of the senior citizen places, visit, see how they are and uh, tentatively start planning saying I want to live there but for heaven's sake don't buy because you are 20 years away from going to a senior citizen home even if you are 50 and I am sure as time goes by you will find better and better stuff so don't be in a hurry to buy but start looking and seeing where do you want to settle do you want to settle in Pune, do you want to settle in Bombay, do you want to settle in Coimbatore, do you want to settle in Jaipur lots of choices today see the weather, what suits you, where your siblings are going to be there, friends are going to be there based on that arrive at your decision but again right now it is only window shopping